Today we are one step closer to landing astronauts back on the moon. A satellite the size of a microwave oven just successfully broke free from its orbit around the Earth and is now heading for the moon. News 6's James Barbero shows us how the capstone mission could pave the way for astronauts. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Should walking on the moon also become one of the most patriotic moments of the 21st century? Three, two, one. NASA says the capstone mission will lead the way. A satellite the size of a microwave, launching last week in New Zealand, now on a four-month flight towards orbiting the moon. Onward to the moon for the capstone mission. Unlike the Apollo missions, NASA says capstone will test a new lunar orbit, and it will be the same flight around the moon that NASA's future space station will take. NASA says eventually astronauts will dock with that station, called the Gateway, before heading down to the lunar surface. It's a full spacecraft in a small body. It's got a propulsion system down here. It's got an antenna that talks to the ground here, solar panels. NASA says Capstone will use its own propulsion and the sun's gravity, which will dramatically reduce the amount of fuel the satellite needs to get to the moon. Having the small satellites being able to utilize and develop the technology for the bigger missions like the Gateway, you know, mm -hmm. is one of the, the reasons why we choose the Capstone. And NASA says the satellite will reach its orbit November 13th, and Capstone will study that path around the moon for six months. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.